guys this is Z again and today I'm going to show you two really simple ways to cut out an object or a person from an image and remove the background. So the first thing we need to do is open the image in the GIMP. So we'll go file, open, find the image, open and convert. And that's the photo that I'm going to use. So what I want to do is cut out the girl on the rock and um, remove the background completely. So the first way of doing this is by using the uh, free select tool just here. But before we do that, what we need to do is add an alpha channel. So that will give us a transparency once we've cut the image out. In order to do that, we we'll go over to the layers, go control, click, add alpha channel. So now what I'm going to do is use a free select tool to cut out the girl. So free select, just going to zoom in a little bit. And you can either just pick points, and I'm not going to be as accurate as I would be uh, if this was an image I was using for something. But just for speed, I'm just going to um, you know, quite roughly go around the, the, the rot on the girl. So you can either just pick points, or you can pick and draw like this. Once you have your area selected, then what you need to do to remove the background is to go select, invert, and by doing that, that would remove everything outside of the, the selection rather than everything inside of the selection. And then edit, clear. That's our first selection done. So I'm gonna go on to remove the C in between the girl's legs. So then to save that down and use it elsewhere, we then need to go File, Export As, give it a file name you want, and we must save it as a PNG to retain the transparency. PNG. And then just go Export. So the second way that you can cut out an object or a person is by using the fuzzy select tool. And this is great for photos where you have a pretty consistent background or part of a background, all a similar kind of colour. So the first thing we need to do again is go over on the layer list and do right click or control click, add an alpha channel to give us that transparency at the end. We can then click on the fuzzy select and let's click on the left hand side. So we're going to click on the left hand side and we're going to click and hold. And by doing that, that gives us a preview in purple of what will be removed. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to release, edit, clear, and then select none. And that's the left hand side done and it looks pretty good. So over on this right hand side, I'm going to click again. And this time we're not picking up all of the grey on the right hand side of the, the girl because there must be a slightly different shade of grey. If you drag your mouse down you start to pick up those different shades. But as you can see if you run too far down you're starting to lose some of the hair from the girl. So I'm going to pull that back slightly. That looks pretty good. Edit. Clear. And then I'm going to then select the remaining grey at the bottom. Edit. Clear. Select. None. 
and again I can then save that down using file export as a PNG file and that can be used as a transparent object wherever you want to use it. Hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a like and if you've got any comments, leave them down below. And please subscribe for further great videos to come.